Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are going to discuss an interview question which was asked at one of the top high-frequency trading company. In fact, it was not a question. It was a complete problem statement given to the candidate and candidate had to write the very log code along with its test bench. And for coding and test bench, candidate was given with two and a half hours of time. And after two and a half hour of time, candidate had to show the simulation results. In fact, this interview was for a very senior position in the company. So that is why it was conducted this way. Before starting the actual part of the video, I want to clarify one thing that in this video, I am going to discuss about the problem statement only because I don't have the solution of this problem statement right now. In fact, the purpose of this video is to give a glimpse of the interviews which are taken for very senior positions in top high frequency trading companies. Now without wasting much time, let us get started. Friends, let us discuss the problem statement now. The problem statement given to the candidate was he has to design a clock data recovery module. In short, it is called CDR. This module has one serial input and that serial input is BMC encoded bit stream. So as shown in a figure, candidate has to design this CDR module. It has only one input that is only data input and no clock is coming along with this data. And this serial data stream is BMC encoded. I will tell you what is BMC encoding in the later part of the video. And data at this bit stream is coming in the form of frames. And each frame consists of 32 bits of data. And the data rate at this serial input is 644 Mbps. So this was all about the input side. Now let us discuss what should be the output of this CDR. At the output of this CDR module, we have 32 bit data lines along with one clock signal. As I mentioned earlier that no clock is supplied along with this data input that is serial data input. So in the first go CDR has to recover that clock from the data itself. Then Thereafter, it has to recover the actual data because each frame consists of 32 bits of data. So data for each frame is supplied at these 32 bit lines, which are output of the CDR. And similarly, CDR has to supply the recovered clock at its output. Friends, once the CDR module is designed, then candidate has to write the test bench as well, where he will supply some serial data input to this CDR module. And after that, he has to verify that 32 bit serial encoded data per frame received as an input of the CDR and output recovered parallel data, this data are equal or not. So that means whatever data is supplied at the input of the CDR as a frame should be equal to this output recovered data. Friends, this was whole about the problem statement. Now in the next part of the video, I will tell you what is BMC encoded bit stream. Friends, now I'm going to explain you about BMC encoding. To understand BMC encoding, we have to understand these three waveforms. This is serial BMC encoded data stream, which is input to the CDR module. And let us assume that this clock and data are the two signal at the transmitter side. In fact, this data is encoded as a serial encoded bit stream. Now let us see how this data is encoded as a serial BMC encoded bit stream. When data is logic high, so the polarity at the BMC serial stream will be inverted for half the clock cycle and it will come back to its normal polarity. But when data is zero, the polarity of this BMC stream will be inverted and will remain for the complete clock cycle. Again, when, da when data is zero, the polarity is inverted and remains for the complete clock cycle. But when data is one, the polarity is inverted for only half of the clock cycle and will come back to the normal polarity. Again, when data is one, 
polarity is inverted for half the clock cycle and will come back to the normal polarity. But when data is zero, the polarity is inverted and remains for the complete clock cycle. Again when data is one, polarity is inverted and remains for only the half clock cycle and will come back to the normal polarity. And so on. Friends, this was all about BMC encoding. Apart from this, candidate was given with few assumptions. One of them was system design clock frequency to be used is of candidate's choice. Obviously, when a candidate is going to design a CDR module and it is a sequential module, it needs any local clock, right? And that local clock frequency was of candidate's choice. And the second assumption is use of any other IO signal ports apart from ones mentioned in the arbitrary block diagram is allowed. But candidate has to mention his or her assumptions. And there are third guideline, properly read the question and stress on logic design before starting with the coding. Friends, I have explained you the problem statement completely along with the BMC encoding. In fact, I have explained you everything required for its implementation. And I'm sure that some of you will definitely give a try to write its logic circuit diagram and thereafter the very log coding part as well. And I request to those brilliant candidates, if they are able to do it successfully, please share it with me. And in the coming videos, I will definitely explain its architecture and very log code. Friends, with this, I'm going to wrap up this video and I hope that this would be quite informative for all of you. And I want to request those who have not subscribed my channel yet, Please subscribe it because in future we are going to make many such videos which will open up your mind and build your confidence. And for the notification of all the videos as early as possible, don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching.